Routines are really important to me. And that's because life is very chaotic. So I tend to cling on to the routines that really help me set myself up for success. For me, a typical week doesn't really feel like a week because like you said, I work every day. So there's no, for example, weekend. Um, So I definitely like to lay out my schedule a few weeks in advance to figure out what the, the big projects are and then breaking them up into smaller little bits and trying to not be productive, but effective. And like you said, I am definitely someone who goes with my heart a lot. So if I schedule, for example, writing more on my next deck on a day and it just doesn't feel right, then I'll just kind of switch it with whatever does. So Mm -hmm. remaining flexible is still really important to me. But on a daily basis, what really happens every single day is waking up early, working out doing a yoga practice, meditation has to happen every single day, and also just some sort of healthy meal. I feel like that's the best way for me to really feel good about myself while not burning out. Yeah, I love that because there is so much, even you giving that little bit of detail, like it tells me there's so much that goes in like behind the scenes that contributes to your success or your appearance and, and and how you live your life. I think that's really interesting. Do you have any other, I guess, like I want to know like any tips or habits that you, you know, encourage the listeners to start doing or start trying out like success habits, lifestyle tips, things like that. Mm-hmm. I would definitely say what has helped so much is reading and just reading whatever feels good. I think that's a really big one because I used to try to read books that were nonfiction because I felt like, well, if I read fiction, then I'm kind of wasting time. Or if I'm working out and I'm not sweating, then it's not a real workout. And that's where I, for example, started uh, a yoga practice and went into yoga teacher training to remind myself, like, it's about feeling. It's about enjoying. It's about relaxing. And the same with reading books, whether they're fiction or nonfiction. It's about just taking a moment for yourself and not always feeling like you have to be super effective or doing the most every second of the day, especially if you already have a really busy schedule and lifestyle, whether you're going to a job or whether you're studying. Uh, just to remember that your routine is here to help you, to suit you, not for you to display a certain type of um, display, like certain traits that we see on the internet. Like nobody works out every day full force at 100%. Some days you'll only show up at maybe 10% and that's okay. But to remember that then to adjust your routine in a way that suits that 10% that you can bring that day and feels soothing and feels good. <laughs> 